Yo, what is going on guys? Back with an editing reaction breakdown. Today we're doing Lil Xan Xanarchy, directed by Lone Wolf. So, haven't done a lot of these. I've been trying to slow it down, mix it up a little bit, put out some tutorials. I want to bring back some of my other content, some of the um, editing reaction breakdowns, reacting to your guys' work, uh, some of the creative spotlights. I think I'm going to do Gibson Hazard next. I want to kind of just mix it up a little bit more. I just bought a new mic so I can do more in-person things, talking about business side of things, music video stuff. But anyways, let's talk about this breakdown. A lot of you guys have been requesting this one. I've never actually broken down a lone wolf video i have made a creative spotlight on him if you guys want to check that out go give it a look very good video but today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the effects you guys can do as well as lone wolf's personal style but i want to talk more about his creative thinking than about how he really does it because i want you guys to look at this work and have it inspire you to create something original and new instead of look at this work and say oh he does this a certain way he does that a certain way i can copy that and then i can just become the next lone wolf obviously if he's already doing it he's already there copycatting is a bad thing but being inspired is a good thing so just keep that in mind all right so we're already starting off with some really cool masking stuff and if you guys didn't know if you don't know who lone wolf is um he's this director who's really up and coming now he's actually starting to work with a lot of the bigger name artists you can look up some masking techniques to be able to do this if you just have that shot of the brick wall then you can mask over that thing popping in and then with the paper effect we're going to talk a little bit more of that i want to show you guys different effects to be able to break that fully down but like i said if you look at my masking tutorial it'll be linked down below along with every other tutorial um, that i mentioned in this video you can go check that out learn how to do something similar to this so similarly we got this shot here where he's got six of these pictures on the wall and then we got this kind of glow around here this corner thing i think that lone wolf does this a lot and what i'm pretty sure this is is actually the saber plugin from video co Pilot. Not sure if that's the exact same thing he uses, but you can use the Saber. But you can use the Saber plugin from Video Copilot to create something similar. So look into that. It's actually free. I recommend you guys check that out. It's a really, really cool plugin for After Effects. Um, what he did was he just has this shot with a blue light on the wall, and then he has a bunch of different B roll shots and performance shots just in these things. So it's a creative little idea. All right, so here's the intro. Um, we got some glowing text right here with that glow, with that kind of like, I think it's the Saber plugin stuff. I'm not really sure, like I said, but he uses that a lot throughout this video. And then we got this signature little rip paper stuff. What I'm pretty sure... So, so let's start talking about the specific style that he does. He does a lot of these rip paper, like kind of like stop motion animation things. What I'm pretty sure he does is he uses Photoshop a lot. Not positive. He could be actually just drawing this out and then scanning it, putting here and animating it. Not sure the exact method he does, but that's a, but that's sort of the path that he's gone along. And I think that that creativity is really like the driving point behind what makes him successful. So we got his logo right here, the little um, the little letters looking dope. Another thing I note, another thing that I've been noticing in this video so far is that he's using a lot of different lighting, a lot of neon lighting, a lot of blues. He's definitely thinking this out a lot and creating these cool looking lighting and these cool looking effects. Also, this right here, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the video, having this calculator here that says Xanarchy animates in this little character right here with the uh, Z's on its under its eye. Got some cool background replacement right here also. So a lot of cool motion going on in the video. Um, a lot of creative ideas. He definitely thought this out a lot. Really good lighting like I said with the reds and the blues right here. It's kind of reminiscent of that blue lighting that was in that uh, Betrayed video. Alright so here's another cool effect that you guys could do pretty easily. Uh, let's play this out real quick. So we have this kind of ghosting effect and then it'll freeze a frame and then the video will, con will continue going. I'm going to link a video tutorial from Just No D Show on how to do this. Um, I'm also going to link you guys to my effects pack if you guys want a cool little ghost effect like this to create this kind of like transparent effect as well as like this echo. So two different ways you could be able to do this. Alright, so here's another cool thing that he was doing. Um, a lot of this paper effect, he has this kind of like moving, um, like actual just text in the background and then he's got these little cutouts and he's just animating them to wiggle around like this. And if we go frame by frame, you can see the extent to how how much detail actually goes into just animating these little pieces of paper so as you can see right here folds it down every two frames he's just moving one little piece of the paper over and then it's slowly just growing out and unfolding I'm not sure like I said if he does this in Photoshop in real life and he actually just creates these little paper figures um, and then he can just keyframe that to get bigger create some cool motion this nice little portal this nice little portal here with like I said you can use the Saber plugin to create something similar I might make a tutorial on that if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section down below I think that could be a really cool one and like I said going back to the motion a lot of what successful video makers are doing is creating this really good flowing video by creating all this different motion I'll just show you this is probably one of the best examples of it 
we have this shot here it flips upside down it's still in the shot but it creates the frame for this next shot and then that kind of zooms out into this and then a bunch of background changes it's just very good use of actually motion keeping the flow of the video organic and it looks really good so i'm pretty sure he actually just filmed him actually doing this frame by frame he does like this kind of stop motion animation thing and then he builds up this picture right here i think that looks pretty cool like I said, there's a lot of really cool creative ideas throughout this entire video. Here's another example, him painting over this. What he does is he actually is just taking a frame out of this, prints out that clip in person, and he actually just draws over it in that stop motion animation thing I was talking about. It's a really cool, interesting way of masking, mixing together Photoshop, as well as like in real life kind of stuff, as well as animation. And I think it just is a new style that no one has seen a lot. And that's why this is, and that's why Lone Wolf's Lane is kind of unique. He definitely created his own kind of like personal style. And I think it's one of the most distinct styles out of like almost all the music video directors I've watched. And I've watched a lot of people just because that's kind of like my job now. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. One thing I'd like to say before this ends, I definitely recommend you go check out Lone Wolf, all his other work, his stuff with young bands, some of my favorite music videos, a lot of really good work, a lot of stuff that's going to be inspiring to you guys. If there's one thing I can tell you that's going to help you be successful, try and set yourself apart from a crowd of people. It's going to take some time. Not everyone just come up with, not everyone can just come up with an original idea just like that. You need to work hard. You need to learn new things, and you need to just see what you like and just work with that. If other people don't like that, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep Keep evolving and just keep making things that you like to create and I guarantee you will see success from that. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. Like I said, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Anything you'd like to see next in the comment section down below. A lot of new content coming to the channel so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.